on the campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also I don't saying know why you'd that say the president. It's such a racist there question. There are some people that say that yeah. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because I of don't your rhetoric. That. Let me tell you, it's a racist question. And Mr. Uh, president, I, I love ask it. You know what the word is? I love our country. Good for him. Good for him. It was a racist question. I mean, I can't stand this whole idea that somehow if you support any of the policies associated with this president, that somehow you must be a racist. I mean, that is probably the worst thing that you can call anyone. It's not the kind of thing anybody can easily recover from. They're immediately put on the defensive. And so good for him for turning it on its head today. That was a question asked by a PBS correspondent. Here with reaction, Fox News contributor Richard Fowler and conservative commentator and strategist Rob Smith. I mean, wow, right? He's turning, though, this whole thing on its head because previously, I think people, the minute, you know, somebody's throwing out the term race, you say, oh, my goodness, well, I, I can't talk about globalism and nationalism in right. those ways because somehow that might invoke something else and there's this sort of fear. I think back to Mitt Romney and how fearful he was of the press. And then you get this president saying, no, you know what? You're asking a racist question. Was he right? He was absolutely right. For me, I completely support the president pushing back on, you know, somebody basically calling him a racist, basically calling the administration racist. And what I, I think is really despicable that comes a lot from the media, particularly African-American journalists, who, by the way, I, I think do good work, is that they are goaded into always asking these racially loaded questions so that their outlet <laughs> can push out something well, that has President Trump and racist in the same tweet. I, I, you've got an African-American journalist sitting right here I next do. to you. So, so Richard, uh, what do you a say? A couple things. Them? One, I know this journalist, Yumi Shal Sender at PBS, very well. i known her for almost a decade. Um, and I don't think that was her point at all when she was the New York Times. She was a great reporter. She's covered, she's covered everything from Ferguson to Trayvon Martin to the presidential inauguration. She's one of the best in the business. Uh, and I think the question was based on a, on a phrase that the president said. Now, I think the president should have, could have answered the question a number of ways by saying, when I said nationalist, what I meant was I want an America first agenda. And that would have been an appropriate answer. Well, but people instead, are saying that that's but, somehow racist. But, uh, I don't understand why America first is seen as somehow white supremacy. Exactly. Well, we could have made that defense. Push back on that because we have taken this idea. First of all, Democrats always say anything that expresses love for America mm -hmm. is bad or racist That's not because true. they hate America. But I don't hate America. We have turned this idea of being nationalist into loving um, America as something that is racist and that is something that is only quote unquote for white people or racist white mm -hmm. supremacists. I push back on that. I was in the White House with hundreds of young black conservative people, some were, a lot of them were supporters of the president. They all proudly said that they were nationalists because they love this country. I am a nationalist because I serve uh, this I'm, country but, and I love this country. And I push back on, on the idea that that is a term that is just specifically for white supremacists. I, I'm glad you brought that up because it was interesting in the president's press conference today that the, and the, and the, 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 the Republicans have talked, your movement has talked about expanding the Republican Party, having African Americans as part of it. There's one African American American woman and one African American total in, in the Republican caucus in the United States. That needs to How, Excuse me, I'm not done. Uh, and the president attacked her while her race was still too close to call. He's saying, uh, "I love not enough love but for Mia." But he's he's not <laughs> attacking. I don't think so. it's it's where is it coming from? Is it, it coming from you know a race oriented <laughs> uh, angle or is it from something else? I don't think that he's attacking uh, based well, on race.